Hello, I'm Kevin Harris, a Global Solutions Architect with SUSE, and today I'll walk you through the prerequisites and AWS Marketplace installation of SUSE Rancher Prime into a, an EKS management cluster to manage downstream EKS and EKS Anywhere clusters, as well as any other CNCF certified clusters around the globe. Rancher Prime is a Kubernetes management plane application with trusted registry, application catalog, extended lifecycle, and among other things, will manage all of your clusters and geographies from a single pane of glass. For a complete list of features, you can go to the product documentation. And also please check out the Rancher Rodeo events at susa.com events. I'll link everything in the video description. For now, I'm just going to show you a Helm-based installation from the Amazon Marketplace. So without further ado, we'll start with the Marketplace listing for your account holder's geography. It's either at the EMEA listing or elsewhere. And in my case, even though I'm deploying in North America, my account is held in the EU, so I'll choose the EU listing. And I'll go ahead and click Subscribe, then Configure, and Launch. And ultimately, I want to find the usage instructions. Please consider all of the prerequisites and, the, and view the linked pages at rancher.com slash docs. Uh, there are many ways, as you know, to configure your EKS environment and many choices around ingress, certificate management, DNS, etc. For now, I'm just going to walk you through one way to get everything going, working with Nginx ingress and self-signed certificates and public DNS via Amazon Route 53. We will go ahead and verify the prerequisite binaries for AWS CLI, curl, EKS cuddle, and a minimum Helm version are installed. That's Helm version 3 or above. And let's make sure we add your AWS cred credentials if you haven't already in the form of a key and secret key plus a target geography. In my case, this is already configured. Now I want to verify that the version of EKS I'm going to deploy for the management cluster is compatible with Rancher. And in this case, I can see that EKS 1.25 is compatible with Rancher 2.79, which is the current prime offering as of this recording date. So I'll go ahead and use EKS Cuddle to create a cluster. I'll name it, declare a version, geography, name the node group, the number of nodes, uh, the variance, and that it's a managed node group using auto scaling. And once this is deployed, I can go ahead and focus on the Nginx repository update. I'll add that repository, update it, and I want to find a version of the Nginx app that's compatible with the version of Kubernetes I'm installing. With that, I can go ahead and install Nginx um, Ingress and create a namespace for it. And we're using the controller type load balancer on AWS. We'll use OpenID Connect to authenticate. So let's find our OIDC issuer identity and then check to see if a provider is installed. Since there's no provider returned, we'll need to create one using that identity. And then we'll go ahead and verify that that provider is attached to the cluster.
Now it's time to create an IAM role and attach that role ARN for the auditless on-demand usage-based billing that we're after. I'm declaring the cluster name, uh, geography, and the fact that I'm naming and, and declaring we're creating the role only in this case. Now let's log into the Amazon Elastic Container Registry, or ECR, and we'll go ahead and get our load balancer IP address. We're going to use that within DNS. Now my DNS domain and zone already exist, um, but you can register a new DNS domain by following the Amazon Route 53 DNS documentation. And Amazon also provides guidance around using your own external DNS. I want to go ahead and define a new alias record for the Rancher UI, which points to the newly formed load balancer. So I will define a simple record, creating the FQDN that will be used in the browser URL. Um, it's going to be an A record an alias to an application or load balancer. I'll choose a geography. And there is the load balancer we created. And then we'll define that record. And we can go ahead and install Rancher. Uh, we're pulling packages from ECR and uh, setting our host name according to DNS. We'll go ahead and use uh, Rancher Replicas of 3, create a bootstrap password, declare our ingress class, our account number, and the role we created. And we can watch Rancher deploy and complete. And just like that, Rancher is up and running. We'll go ahead and navigate over to a browser, enter the URL that we created, and log into Rancher. Now we will want to immediately go and change our administrative password. And we'll need to create some Amazon Cloud credentials. In this case, I'll just very quickly create static keys. I'll do a separate video on the use of OIDC and uh, Amazon Cognito for authentication SSO. With keys created, we can go ahead and create downstream EKS clusters. And it is literally just this easy. We'll name the cluster, declare a version, access key we want to use for the nodes, a node group name. In this case, we'll deploy a managed node group of two instances. And that is it. We just deployed a downstream EKS cluster in any geography supported by EKS. So thank you for joining me today and look forward to a similar video on New Vector Prime on the AWS Marketplace. Don't forget to reference the links in the description below. Please reach out to your SUSE or Amazon salesperson with questions or join the Rancher Slack community linked below. And for questions around purchasing Rancher Prime on AWS, you can reach out to cloudsales at susa.com to reach the team. Thanks for joining me.